lordy lordy is this? The Legends Ultimate Arcade. <clears throat> well, I thought I would show you what I've done so far. This here, this is a front end. This front end is called Launch Box. It's my favorite front end. I haven't used a whole bunch, but I've messed around enough to know that this is by far the easiest, I think. I just like it. It's a nice front end. It's in attract mode right now. So what I have <clears throat> so far, just to show you what I've got going on, is there's this PC here. Sorry about the lighting in here. Just don't want a light shining through the monitor there. Anyhow, there's this PC here. I have it connected to the to the uh, Legends Ultimate Arcade through an HDMI. So the HDMI is temporarily is just running up to here to the far HDMI input. And then I have the the deck controller deck here connected to this PC by Bluetooth there's Simba and underneath the front end I'm running the current version of MAME I forget what it is um, today's uh, let's take a look let's just take a look it's going to Galaga Hit play. Now here, if I hit menu, I have it configured, MAME configured. Input general, maybe it'll show the version in here. No, it's not showing me the version. Anyways, I think it's like 219B or something. I can't remember. And then I have the hotkey set here to back out. So, so far that's what I've got going on here. I can cycle through my um, menus here using the keyboard. Let's go ahead and just exit out of this. Alright, and then the the version of MAME that I'm using, where's my mouse, is so it's yeah, MAME 2. Point, or point 0.219. So that's what I've got going on right now so far. I actually like I said, this is configured, it's connected to the PC through Bluetooth. So they just put out a firmware update here a couple days ago. I, initially I was having problems connecting the deck here via Bluetooth. Um, this is really why I wanted the arcade. I really wanted it to be able to connect my own PC to it, set up my own front end, and utilize this control deck. I have an XRK tank stick, but um, I wanted a cabinet like this. So anyhow, I ordered myself. I was watching on a couple people's videos. Um, I'll try to remember to post a link. I've watched a few others out there who uh, who have done a few video, quite a few videos on this um, arcade. And I guess there's an OTG mode that they're using where you can plug in a USB A, you know, a USB cable into here and then into your PC and apparently be able to, Windows would recognize this as a controller. Um, I hadn't seen anyone had it, um, have it connected to a PC. I had it. Or, or at least, um, what were they running? I think they had it connected to a Raspberry Pi. And uh, 
we're using it, but I prefer a PC. A um, little bit more power, a little bit easier to configure and work with. I've tried connecting this to a Raspberry Pi and my NVIDIA Shield, and um, it's just frustrating and cumbersome. Um, I just, I think I got a little impatient. With this new firmware update, I'm hoping maybe I can uh, go ahead and uh, try the NVIDIA Shield again just to see possibly for the funsies. But as of now, um, I've got this working. I just got it, just barely got it configured. So this is an older PC. This thing is like a an AMD X6 or, uh, gosh, what is it? Um, I'm forgetting, but I think it's just a dual core. Uh, and then I have a, my graphics card in it is a NVIDIA 750 Ti, which is fine for what I'm doing. But I do want to get a different computer. But right now, this is the one I have going. And eventually my goal is to, you know, once I make sure this all works and um, the way I want it to work, then I want to put the PC either down below inside or in the back. Obviously, this is too big to put in the back. Um, but I might, once I know that it works, I might be willing to spend a little bit of extra money and put something in the back where I can get to it and stuff. Also, I want to get rid of this cable here and run it inside. I have pulled off the back, and that shouldn't be a problem. I can connect a... Uh, um, you know, on the inside, you can connect a HDMI uh, splitter uh, and be able to, you know, to do that. So, anywho, just thought I'd show that really quick. I will probably do a couple videos on how I actually configured this. So, I think the hardest part of doing this, I'll just tell you right up front, is I'm not very familiar with MAME and the correct versions of the ROMs that you should have. So I do know that there are certain, you know, so many different versions of ROMs and I'm still learning about that. I have a few different versions and so sometimes when I first started like Burger Time and I would try to run it in this version of MAME, it would not work so I'd have to grab another ROM file from a different version of ROMs that I had. It took me about, you know, two or three times before I found the correct ROM that would run with this. That's the biggest pain in the butt. So I don't know enough about it to really be able to do a video and educate you on it. So I would suggest that, you know, looking for something like that on YouTube or wherever to, you know, to learn more on that. But that was really the hardest part. Once I, once you've got your ROMs opening up um, with the version of MAME you're using, and then it's pretty, it really is pretty simple to configure. It just takes a little bit of, you know, 10, 15 minutes, I guess. But anyhow, I will do a video, I think, on how I got this thing configured. So, but I just thought I would show you what I have so far going on. So I'm really excited about it. It's really cool. And uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. All right. Let's see, let's just exit out of this. Open up big box. We'll let you see what this is all about as it boots up into big box. It says initializing big box. A little slow, PC slow. Come on, you can do it. You can do it. Oh, and everybody stay safe with this coronavirus thing going on. Yeah, I like it. There you go.